Today we're going to demonstrate how to do a pre-operational hoist inspection. Every operator should do a pre-operational hoist inspection at the start of every shift to ensure they're operating a safe unit. First thing I want to do is come over and look at the warning labels. Every hoist should have a warning label which is the do's and don'ts of using the hoist. Be sure that the warning label is not an out of service tag. If it is an out of service tag, we do not want to operate this unit until it is fixed by proper maintenance. The next thing, let's look at our pendant. Be sure that the pendant doesn't have any cracks. We don't have any loose wires or frayed wires. The buttons are properly labeled up, down, and everything looks okay on this pendant. Once that I deem that is okay, I'm going to operate the unit. I'm going to press the up button and the hoist should go up. I'm going to press the down button and the hoist should go down. If the hoist doesn't do exactly what was labeled on the pendant, we immediately remove the hoist from service and we do not use. Next thing we want to do is inspect our hook, ensure that the latch is present and operating properly. We always need a latch on our hoist hooks. If the only time we don't need a latch, uh, if it constitutes a hazard. Take a look at our hook carefully, look for any heat damage, look for any stretch, look for any excessive wear, nicks, gouges, anything that's causing us concern, we don't want to operate the hoist. Look at the pin, is it properly secured to the chain, and can my hook rotate freely, relatively easily. I'm going to continue on with my inspection, I'm going to run my hoist hook all the way up, and I'm going to also listen for any unusual noises, I'm going to look for any oil leaks in the hoist, be sure it's mounted properly, the chain is entering properly, it's properly reeved. And I'm not hearing any unusual noises, which is a great sign that this is a good hoist. And my limit switch is just kicked out, which ensures I have a proper running limit switch. Next, I'm going to run the hoist down. Again, listening for any unusual noises. As our hoist hook is coming down, let's do a link-by-link -link inspection of our chain, looking for nicks, gouges, cuts, abrasion, wear, heat damage, weld splatter. Anything that's going to cause me concern, I'm going to take out of service. And my lower limit should kick in. There you see the power is kicked out. My lower limit switch is working properly. And I don't see anything wrong with my chain. Next thing I want to do is check out brake function. And I want to take at least a 50 pound load per strands of chain. So if I have a single strand, it's 50 pounds, two strands, 100 pounds, three strands, 150 pounds. I have a single strand of chain here, so I want to lift 50 pounds or, or more to check the brake function. I'm going to move my weight into position. And I'm just going to raise my weight slightly, stop the hoist, and observe. I don't see the load moving at all, I don't see it drifting downwards. That ensures me the brake function is operating properly. Lower it back down and remove your hook from your test weight. Lastly, just look around your work area for any housekeeping hazards. Ensure you can operate in a nice, safe, clean environment and then you don't have any trip hazards to worry about. It's that simple in doing a pre-operational hoist inspection.